Welcome back to another episode of Defense and Aviation Update in 10 Slide Info. HLFT-42, which is also known as Hindustan Lead in Fighter Trainer 42, is a next-generation supersonic trainer jet, which is under development by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited of India, along with the Indian Air Force team. HLFT-42 aircraft is intended to replace or supplement existing trainer aircraft used by the Indian Air Force for advanced pilot training. It would also help in training pilots for upcoming Tejas, Mark II, and AMCA fighter jets, which are again in development. HLFT-42 supersonic trainer captured attention with its impressive capabilities and features. This trainer is said to have 11 hardpoints holding up to 4.5-ton weapon payload capacity and a 16.5-ton maximum takeoff weight. Majority of features, configurations, and missile package has been almost finalized, but one of the vital elements which is yet to be decided is the engine which is going to be powering these most ambitious trainer aircraft of India. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has expressed interest in a more powerful engine than the General Electric F-414, which will be powering the Tejas, Mark II and initial batches of AMCA fighter jets. To expedite the HLFT-42 program, HAL can go for GE F-414 engine for initial prototypes, and later, once the new 110 kN engines are developed indigenously, HAL can think of switching the engines for more power and thrust. The new 110 kN engine is being developed indigenously by India's gas turbine research establishment. However, to achieve this, they must collaborate with a foreign defense partner. India is in talks with Safran of France, a leading manufacturer of aircraft engines, and this collaboration aims to finalize the roadmap for developing the 110 kN thrust engine. So, let's expect both the Indian Air Force and HAL reach an agreement on the final configuration, procurement numbers, and engine selection at the earliest to expedite the development of the HLFT-42 program. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tenslide Info for more such updates and analysis on defense and aviation. Thank you.